Yao Bashin Yao Shah Bashin Karkadash Rakta Dabar Studio the Apostle Great Millstone said so takes you out and teach all true sincerity. Uh, it cut me off, so I'm I'm gonna start. I'm gonna go to uh, John 15, verse 18. This is John 15, verse 18. It said, "If the world hates you, you know that I that it hated me before it hated you. So if we are part of this world, the world would love us. But since we're not part of this world, it hated us. Um, that's why when we go on the highways and byways, we get scoffed, and um, you know, our people, two thirds of our people, they don't take heed." to this word they because if we were preaching to I would say if we were preaching to the other nations like Elam, uh, Moab, um, you know, um, Ammon, you know, Ishmael or any, you know, you know, all those other nations, they would take heed, they would come come into the fold. But Israel, they're a stiff necked, rebellious nation. They, they want to continue doing wickedness. Um, so, you know, the prophets get, uh, what's the word? The prophets get scoffs. The prophets get, uh, you know, we get uh, harsh re reactions, harsh, harsh, um, rough um Rough, um, uh, rough. I would say reaction or rough. Like our people don't come, don't come, like um, right away. Like it takes time. It also takes patience when when uh, to deal with these people because you know. And also, if you know, like scriptures also say, we're supposed to go and preach whether they want to hear or forbear it. Will they be a rebellious house? Um, this is um, verse 19. If you were of the world, the world would love its own, his own. But because you are not of the world, but the, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. And uh, like the scripture said, they hate him that rebuke him in the gate, and they abhor him that speak uprightly. So they hate us because we rebuke in the gate, which is, uh, you know, our people, which is Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. I remember the word that I said unto you, uh, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my, my sayings, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. Yeah, because they don't know the Lord. You know, because they knew the Lord, they wouldn't do what, what they're doing. You know, they understood it had full understanding they would repent and, and ask for forgiveness for the wicked things they they thought, the wicked things they're doing, and they would uh, totally be, you know, messed up in their spirit. Um, uh, this is uh, Isaiah 13 and 1. It says, uh, the burden of Babylon, which Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see, Lift up ye a banner upon the high mountain, exalt the voice unto them, shake the hand, that they may go into the gates of the nobles. Yeah, we're supposed to, uh, uh, this is what we're supposed to do. Uh, this is, uh, Isaiah 58, verse 1. Cry aloud, spirit not, lift thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions, the house of Jacob their sins. We're supposed to, um, boldly, you know, confidently go out on the highways and byways. We can week out and um, cry aloud and spare not. Don't spare anybody's feelings, no matter what. And um, <clears throat> preach this word out the scriptures to our people, uh, first and foremost, and to the heathens. Because the heathens also have to understand that you're going to go into captivity in the near future. That's your that's your judgment. That's your uh, that's what you got to do uh, in the near future. Because we had to go through slavery, so you got to go through slavery. It's a time of our kingdom to be built up and your kingdom, your time of rulership to go down. You know, and that's how every kingdom is built. It's through servitude. <coughs> you know, while the royalty rules and governs the kingdom. Because that's how Esau's kingdom was built up through 
through, uh, you know, Israelites being in slavery under Esau. So that's how our kingdom is going to be built up, while having the Gentiles being in enslavement to, to the Israelites. Uh, um, now I can always, you know, Lord willing, I'm going to do a part two to this. Um, Let me get one more scripture and I'm, I'm going to close it. This is uh, uh, Jeremiah 51 verse uh, 24. And I will render unto Babylon to all that have this Chaldea, all their evil that they have done in Zion in your sight, saith the Lord. Behold, I will against the old destroying mountain, saith the Lord, which destroyed all the earth. And I will stretch out my hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks. And will make thee a burnt mountain. And that's what's going to happen to America. It's going to be completely obliterated off the face of the earth. And that's the warning that the prophets have been telling, uh, it, you know, have been prophesying about for 30 plus years. Um, and um, about 15, about 15 years um, since the internet had been, you know, since YouTube had been uh, implemented on the internet. You know, because I believe U2 came out in 2007. Um, so, if that's about 15 years, and you know, this year, you know. So, so anyway, I'm going to end it right here. I'm going to say all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshua, Bashim, Karkadosh. The honors to the elder apostle, Great Millstone. Citation, I can teach all truth, sincerity, and shalom.